Hi, in this video, I want to talk to you about digestive bitters. Hi, I'm Dr. Joe with Two Minutes to Better Health. Well, what do I mean by digestive bitters? Well, we look at this, and this is what we may have right before dinner, right? Just a small salad. You got to eat three, four course meal. There's almost always a, a salad, small or sometimes large, before you get there. Now, ultimately, this is a tradition that's used because so many types of cultures throughout the world use digestive bitters to help support their body for so many health processes. But we just take it for granted that it's just a small token salad before the big meal comes out. Well, ultimately, there's a lot of health benefits from this. Let's find out what they actually do. Digestive bitters come from not just you know, vegetables, but like herbs, roots, seeds, flowers, and bark. So traditionally, cultures will add them in some form before, during, or after a meal. And they prepare the body for the digestive process. So ultimately, I believe it's the best thing to do right before a meal instead of in the middle or at the end of it like some people may do. So ultimately, they increase saliva production, which is huge. So one of the key things, we're looking at salads here, these small salads, and we'll talk about the types of lettuce, leaves, and stuff to consume. But ultimately, chewing your lettuce is a good idea. Many people just drown it in dressing, take a couple bites, and swallowing it but unfortunately the digestive process starts in the mouth and most people bypass that quickly so chew it get a little bit of that bitter taste amongst the sweet dressing or the ranch dressing whatever you put on top of it and really get that to connect to your you know, taste buds because ultimately by doing that it's going to help support your digestion significantly so it increases stomach acid production which helps with heartburn GERD gas and bloating this is key because your stomach acid is key for so much digestion and if you can get that happening by these bitters getting into the system that's going to help with so many different things it improves bile flow so a lot of people that have gallbladder dysfunction this is key they often have thick bile if you improve the bile flow that's important not just for the digestive process of fats and carbohydrates and proteins but it also helps in the detoxification process as well because bile helps to pull toxins out of it which we'll talk about that it helps with gut brain connection so the brain is getting connected to the lower digestive tract and helps support the good bacteria down there helps prevent overeating and controls blood sugar which is key not only is there a little bit of bulk to salads before you eat it for a meal but it actually helps to control blood sugar levels uh, natural detoxification as we said it's anti-inflammatory so many of these foods have a lot of health benefits across the board but inflammation control is key and better absorption of nutrients so not only are do they have lots of nutrients they help you absorb them better because you're breaking your food down more completely so look at all the different you know uh, bitters that are here you got endive radicchio romaine red leaf lettuce spinach dandelion many of these are in what we would call like a mescaline mix or spring mix so consider those again now some people say well i can't eat much you know lettuce because it I almost get indigestion from it you don't need to have a huge salad just we're talking a few leaves like almost those things that are like uh, uh, the, the 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 plate dressing on the side there if you have a little piece of that just to get a little bit of that bitter taste right before you eat gonna have super health benefits you got silymarin which is milk thistle great for liver gentian root okay this is phenomenal for helping to improve uh, with uh, the itter, uh, bitters and the digestive process artichoke leaf chicory root burdock root most people in our culture stick with coffee and uh, cocoa or chocolate is the only bitters that they consume they are bitter but there are only a few of the bitter receptors that are affected by them so there's better choices so yes if you have your coffee after the meal or that little bit of dark chocolate it might be a little bit helpful but preferably do this before the meal apple cider vinegar is also phenomenal for so many health reasons so look at all these different bitters try some of them encourage that digestive process chew your food slowly and hopefully this will make a big difference get rid of some of that gas bloating and indigestion that you might be experiencing thanks for watching today we'll see you in a future video